and the next step is to create the accounting rules. As we discussed last time, when you want to create an accounting rule, you have to create a credit line and a debit line. Yeah. Okay. So, against which event as to fashion for staging event class? So, I will create a debit line first. So, I will say XX A to F. And this is a staging transaction. So I'll just say transaction debit. I'll put this as accounting class miscellaneous. It's just a descriptive field. You can give whatever information you want. It has no bearing whatsoever on the accounting rules and accounting principles. And then I'll give it a name. The name will be Apps to Fusion Transaction Debit and it's debit already. What is the chart of account that you've created? What's it called, Sumit? We don't need it here anyways. We'll need it later on. This is a transaction chart of account. You know, you know what this transaction chart of account is? This is the in subledger accounting in payables, for example. If you have uh, created, uh, if the source system itself, like let's say payable, so I procurement is using the account generator workflow to generate a chart of account, this is the chart of account ID you specify here. Uh, it's F-A-H-G-L-C-O-A. F-A-H-G-L-C-O-A. Okay, we'll come to that later. Yeah, that's fine. So, conditions, you can build any conditions based on the source columns, all your source columns will be visible here. If the system name is this, then do this. I can build whatever conditions I want, but in this case I don't need to build conditions. But you can write conditions on the columns. You understand? Can anyone tell me why these conditions, what is the purpose, significance of this condition? From practical point of view, uh, like in, in the one which we used uh, in the same table uh, based on the book type, we had made some conditions. So, source like we used book type code and uh, based on that what values we derived the corresponding value. So in the accounting derivation rule, uh, the, there are three rules. So when each rule should be followed, so for that condition we are giving insight. Okay. So basically, if this condition is true, whatever condition I enter here, now I've got access to all my columns here. If the condition that I enter here is true, then this debit line will be created. Only if all the conditions match, only then this debit accounting line will be created. 